so friends first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so friends in this lesson number four we are going to solve five different questions so all the five different question is based on the concept called some amount is withdrawn or additional amount is added in a various durations so friends the pdf file is available on the description page so don't forget to download the pdf file and try to practice all the partnership question so friends download the pdf file which is available on the description page and share this pdf file to your friends also question number one so a b and c enter into a partnership they invest rupees 40000 80000 and 120000 respectively so friends there are three person a b and c and all the three person are investing some amount to start the business right so a is investing 40000 friends so first of all a is investing 40000 and the second person b is investing 80000 and the person c is investing 120000 right okay so friends after they investing at the end of first year B withdraws rupees 40,000. So friends, after one year, the person B withdraws 40,000. While at the end of second year, C withdraws 80,000. So in what ratio will be the profit be shared at the end of three years? So friends, our target to find the ratio of their shares, but not for one year. We need to find the ratio of their profit for three years, right? So friends, listen here friends. B is withdrawing some amount at some years, right? And similarly, C is withdrawing some amount at some years. But we can surely say that from the starting till the end, the A is not investing an amount, E is not withdrawing any amount. So we can surely say that this person A will be for complete 36 months because we need to calculate the profit for three years. So we can surely say that into 36, right? 36 determines it's 36 months, right? So for the complete 36 months, the person A is investing 40,000. Okay. Next is B friends. Listen here friends. At the end of first year, B withdraws 40,000. So after one year, B is withdrawing 40,000 rupees. So we can surely say that for the first year, he will invest 80,000, right? So into 12. Friends, can you able to understand this concept friends? After one year, he withdraws his amount that is 40,000. We can surely say that for the first one year, he will invest 80,000, right? For one year, that is 12 months. After one year, now he withdraws 40,000. So if he withdraws 40,000, then we can say that the remaining amount will be 40,000, right? And the remaining year will be 24 months. That is two years, 24 months. So friends, here it is plus. So friends, important concept. If you frame an equation correctly, then solving all the question will be so simple. So friends, B is investing an amount of 80,000, right? After one year, E withdraws 40,000. So we can surely say that for the first one year, E will invest an amount of 80,000. So 80,000 for one year, that is 12 months, right? After that, E withdraws 40,000. If he withdraws 40,000, the remaining will be 40,000, right? And we know that 12 months, E is investing 80,000 and we need to find the ratio for three years so it is 36 months so the remaining will be 24 months for the 24 months he will invest 40,000 next is C friends listen here friends and uh, C withdraws rupees 80,000 but he is withdrawing 80,000 at the second year so we can surely say that for first two years he will invest an amount of 120,000 so for first two years that is 24 months so friends after this two years right so after two years that is 24 months now he withdraws some amount so he withdraws 80,000 right if he withdraws 80,000 then we can surely say that the remaining amount will be 40,000 right remaining will be 40,000 so this 40,000 he will invest for remaining one year that is 12 months so friends most most important concept friends right first of all c is investing 120000 after 2 years he withdraws 80000 so we can surely say that after 2 years only he is withdrawing some amount so for the first 2 year he will invest definitely 120000 so 2 years that is 24 months for the first 24 months the person c will invest 120000 right after 2 years he withdraws 80000 if he withdraws 80000 the remaining will be 40000 right and the remaining months will be 1 year that is 12 months so friends now we need to cancel this and we need to find the ratio right so friends listen here friends there are uh, many easiest way to cancel this number right uh, don't try to multiple all the numbers and don't try to cancel it just cancel zero friends listen here i'm just going to cancel four zero here so four zeros one two three four so one two three four the remaining will be one two three four right so here it is four into 36 and the second ratio will be eight into 12 plus 4 into 24 so friends remaining year is 12 into 24 so plus 4 into 12 right next is friends listen here uh, i think uh, i can cancel all the values in 12 table right so friends 112s are 12 
12 twos are 24 right so 12 twos are 24 1 twelves are 12 and 12 threes are 36 remaining will be 4 into 3 will be 12 right so 8 into 1 will be 8 so 4 into 2 will be 8 so 8 plus 8 will be 16 so friends next is 12 into 2 will be 24 right so 4 into 1 will be 4 so this can be done as 24 plus 4 will be 28 right? this will be 28 so friends I think again we can cancel this on 4 table right so this will be 7 fours are 28 so 4 fours are 16 so 4 threes are 12 so friends finally we got the ratio that is 3 is to 4 is to 7 question number 2 so a and b enter into a partnership for a year so a contributes rupees 1500 and b contributes rupees 2000 so after four months they admit c who contributes rupees 2250 if b withdraws his contribution after nine months how would they share a profit of rupees 900 at the end of year so friends totally there are three person in a business right but a and b is a starting a business so there are two person first of all a and b is starting a business after some duration they admit the person c right and uh, each person is contributing some amount friends first of all a is contributing 1500 right and he start a business similarly b's investment will be 2000 and e start the business right? both the person are starting a business so friends after four months they admit c who contributes 2250 so this person c who contributes 2250 right okay so friends listen here friends if b withdraws his contribution after nine months so b withdraws his contribution after nine months the meaning is only for the nine months b was in the business so after nine months he withdraws his contribution so we can surely say that from the starting till nine months b will be in the business so e invest 2000 for nine months right and the next is person a friends person a is not withdrawing any amount from the starting till the end he was in the business right and we know that they have calculated a profit for one year that is 12 months so we can surely say that for the complete 12 months a will be in the business next is c friends and the person c joined in the business only after four months right we know that the total months will be 12 months for the first four months he was not in the business so after four months only the person c joined in the business so 12 minus 4 will be 8 so we can surely say that the person c will be in the business for remaining eight months right so friends now we need to cancel this and we need to find the ratio i think we can cancel 0 0 0 here so this can be written as 150 into 12 so similarly 200 into 9 so 225 into 8 so friends so now we need to multiply this one 0 so 5 into 2 will be 10 remaining will be 1 this will be 8 so 1800 0. similarly this will be 1800 0. so friends 225 into 8 will be 1800 0. so we can surely say that the ratio of the shares will be 1 is to 1 is to 1 the equal shares so friends we know that the profit for calc they have calculated a profit for one year that is rupees 900 if rupees 900 is the total profit and we know that ratio of the share will be 1 is to 1 is to 1 so we can surely say that a will get an amount of rupees 300 b will be 300 and c will be 300 so finally we can say that answer for question number two that is 300 300 and 300 so question number three so a started a business by investing rupees 25,000 six months later b joined him with the investment of rupees 15,000 after another six months b invest an additional amount of rupees 15,000 so at the end of three years they earn a profit of 2 lakh 47,000 so what will be b share in the profit so friends they have calculated a profit that is 2 lakh 47,000 for three years right and uh, there are two person in a business one is a and the second person is b so friends first of all a is starting a business with an investment of 25000 right so a is starting a business with the investment of 25000 and we know that a is not adding any additional amount or a is not withdrawing any amount from the starting till the end the person a was in the business and we know that they have calculated a profit for 3 years so we can surely say that for the complete 36 months the person a will be in the business next is b so friends if you are a beginner try to follow this right or otherwise try to write the equation directly and friends totally the profit is calculated for six months right listen here friends six months later b joins with an investment of 15,000 after six months only the person b joins with the investment of 15,000 so friends for the first six months b was not in the business right after six months only the person b with the investment of 15,000 okay 
after another six months from here after another six months right after another six months he invest an additional amount of rupees 15,000 he is already having 15,000 here after six months he is adding an additional amount 15,000 so 15,000 plus additional amount 15,000 will be 30,000 right so now he is having 30,000 and the remaining months will be 24 months so friends most important concept friends listen here for this first six months the person B was not in the business right for the next six months he invest an amount of 15,000 so after six months that is another after six months he add an additional 15,000 to the investment right so now the amount will be 30,000 and the remaining months will be 24 so he is investing 30,000 for 24 months and 15,000 for six months so 15,000 for six months and 30,000 for 24 months so friends now we need to cancel this and we need to find what is the share for the person B right I think we can cancel three zero friends listen here. we can cancel three zero here three zeros and the three zeros so finally this can be written as 25 into 36 then here it is 15 into 6 plus 30 into 24 so friends I think we can cancel this on six table right so when we cancel this on six table one six are six uh, six fours are 24 right so six fours are 24 and six six are 36 so friends we can cancel this on uh, five table so five threes are 15 so when we cancel this on five table uh, six fives are 30 so again cancel this on the five table that is five fives are 25 so friends we can cancel this on three table one threes are three and uh, here it is two threes are six so when we cancel this on three table that is two so this can be done as five into two will be ten so friends four into two will be eight so one into one will be one so eight plus one will be nine so finally we got the ratio that is ten is to nine our target to find what is the share for the person b right so b is in the ratio nine divided by total ratio that is 19 10 plus 9 will be 19 and we know that the total profit they have calculated that is uh, two lakh forty seven thousand so our target to find what is the share for the person b so friends i think we can cancel this 13 time friends when we cancel 19 into 13 will be 247 so here it is 30 so next is 13 into 9 will be 117 so 117000 so friends finally we can say that share for the person b will be 1 lakh 17000 question number four so abc started a business investing 42000 30,000 and 28,000 respectively. So after four months, A withdraws rupees 12,000, then B withdraws rupees 6,000, and C withdraws rupees 8,000. So friends, if after 10 months the total profit is 46,420, so what is the share of C? So friends, there are three person in a business that is A, B, and C, and each person is investing some amount to start a business. So after four months, each person is withdrawing some amount, right? And they have calculated a profit of 46,420, that is for 10 months. So our target to find what is the share for the person C. Okay. So friends, listen here friends. First of all, A is investing an amount of 42,000. Similarly, B is investing an amount of 30,000. And the person C is investing an amount of 28,000. Each person is investing some amount. So friends, after four months only, the person A withdraws some amount. Similarly, B and C. Listen here, friends. After four months, A is withdrawing some amount. Then we can surely say that for the first four months, A will be in the business with the amount of 42,000, right? So after four months, A withdraws an amount of 12,000. If he withdraws 12,000 from 42,000, the remaining will be 30,000, right? So this 30,000, he will invest for the remaining six months. Why? Because we know that the total duration will be 10 months they have calculated a profit for 10 months that is 46,420 so friends A is investing 42,000 to start a business after four months he withdraws a rupees 12,000 so when he withdraws rupees 12,000 the remaining will be 30,000 so 30,000 for the remaining six months next is B friends so B is investing 30,000 similarly after four months right for, for the first four months he will invest this 30,000 so after four months B withdraws an amount of 6,000 so when he withdraws amount 6,000 the remaining will be 24,000 right so this 24,000 he will invest for the remaining six months next is C so C withdraws rupees 8,000 so we can surely say that for the first four months C will invest rupees 28,000 so after four months C will withdraw rupees 8,000 so when he withdraws rupees 8,000 the remaining will be 20,000 so this 20,000 for the remaining six months right so this 20,000 for the remaining six months so friends 
if you write this equation correctly solving all the questions will be so simple friends friends remember that they have calculated a profit that is for 10 months right not for one year they have calculated a profit for 10 months so 6 plus 4 will be 10 6 plus 4 will be 10 so friends i think we can uh, cancel this 3 0 right we can easily cancel all the three zeros here similarly three zero three zeros uh, okay so friends now 42 into 4 so this will be 168 right and here it is 180 and the next term right which will be 120 24 remaining will be 2 so 6 twos are 12 12 plus 2 will be 144 see right so 28 into 4 so 8 fours are 32 remaining will be 3 so this will be 11 right so 112 and 120 so friends now we need to add this so it will be 348 right so 348 and the next is 264 and the third will be 112 that is uh, 232 right so 232 i think we can cancel this on two table friends so 1 2 are 2 7 2 are 14 4 2 are 8 so 1 3 2 when we cancel this on two table which will be 116 right again we can cancel this on two table so when we cancel this on two table 5 2 are 10 remaining will be 1 so 8 2 are 16 so friends uh, when we cancel this on two table 6 2 are 12 66 so when we cancel this on two table 8 2 are 16 remainder will be 1 that is 87 so finally we got a ratio that is 87 as to 66 as to 58 but our target to find what is the share for the person c right so c is in the ratio 58 divided by the total ratio friends the total ratio will be 87 58 so this will be 14 this will be 21 2 so 8 plus 2 will be 10 so 10 plus 11 will be 20 which is 211 right so 211 and the profit which will be 46420 i think this can be cancelled two times so the remaining will be uh, 422 right so 422 which will be 220 so friends finally we got 220 into 58 so this can be done as 0 0 right the remaining will be 22 into 58 so friends this can be written as 58 into 20 plus 2 i am just going to write this 22 as 20 plus 2 58 into 20 right 58 into 2 only 1160 right 58 into 2 will be 116 so 6 7 2 1 so finally we got 1 2 7 6 so this can be done as 1 2 7 6 0 so friends we have calculated the share for the person c that is 12,716